Hey everybody, TPC here. Today we're going to do lasagna. This is an American lasagna. There are two normal types of lasagna you see. One is a bolognese, the other is a de Napoli. In other words, northern and southern Italy. Um, the American lasagna is basically a combination of the two. And it really depends on who it is, how it comes out. There's a thousand recipes. This one's mine. Hopefully you like it. Hit like and subscribe if you enjoy what I do. And let's get down to cooking. All right, we're going to start with our ricotta mixture. And that starts with three eggs. One of the things about making this ricotta mixture, most people don't put enough egg in it so it doesn't hold. It ends up turning runny when it's cooked. Uh, if you put enough egg in there, the uh, ricotta will hold a little more firmly. Okay, next we're going to add a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of restaurant grind black pepper. It's a little coarser than table grind. Add your salt, pepper, teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of Italian seasoning, and a teaspoon of parsley. Then mix everything together. Add a 32 ounce or two pound container of ricotta cheese. And half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese. Get this all mixed together. Now, we've got a block of store-bought mozzarella, 8 ounce block, and we're going to grate this up. Add this to the ricotta mix. Once a block of cheese is all grated up, put it in with your ricotta mixture. Then move the mixture back into the refrigerator. Make sure to mix it all up before you put it in the fridge. Now, bring a pan of water to a boil, and we're going to start par cooking the noodles. I have tried using the dry noodle method, I have tried using the semi-soaked noodle method, I just don't like it. So, we're going to stick with the old-fashioned way of par cooking the noodles before building lasagna. We're going to use Barilla lasagna. Basically because I find Barilla pasta to be just about as consistent as there is on the market. Doing about seven noodles at a time. Once your first batch of noodles is cooked, we're going to move them to an ice bath. Cool them off, stop them cooking. Get your next batch in. And pull the noodles from the ice bath and uh, get them drying on some paper towel or on a regular towel. While the second batch of noodles is going, we're going to start working on the sauce. So you want to dice up one large onion. And get a couple of pats of butter in a pan. Next batch is in the ice bath. Put the last batch of noodles into the water. You're going to probably have to add water to your pan and a little bit of salt to get them seasoned. Chop up some mushrooms, add them to the onions, add a little bit of salt and pepper to help extract the excess water, and keep cooking till it's fairly dry. Three cloves of rough chopped garlic going in with the mushrooms and onions. Last batch of noodles into the water. Got our mushrooms, onions, and garlic all sauteed out. We're going to start adding some meat to the vegetables. I'll put in about two pounds of meat and half a teaspoon of salt, about a quarter teaspoon of pepper. Start cooking down the meat. Get it broken up as fine as you possibly can as it cooks. Once the meat is cooked fully through with the vegetables, you're going to drain off the excess liquid and fat. Now turn a 6 ounce can of tomato paste out into the pan and we're going to start heating this up. Add about a cup of water. Teaspoon of sugar, 
quarter teaspoon of salt and get that stirred up and add garlic to your liking. Once your tomato paste is broken down, return the meat and vegetable mixture back to the tomato paste. The meat returned to the pan, get everything mixed together, and then we're going to add some of our sauce. Now the meat and tomato paste are all mixed up. I'm going to add some of my jarred sauce, which comes from an unknown origin. Ragu. I added about, oh, four-fifths of the jar. And a teaspoon of garlic, a teaspoon of Italian seasoning, and just a pinch of salt. Let's get this up to the flavor you want. You don't want it too loose and soupy, but you don't want it too thick either. Take your lasagna pan, or 13 by 9, just depending on what you're using, and coat the bottom with olive oil, coat the sides and the corners, and we're going to add the extra sauce just to the bottom of the pan. I added just a little bit of garlic and a little bit of Italian seasoning to this to get the flavor consistent with the uh, meat sauce. And now we can start layering in our noodles. This sauce will help the noodles to not stick to the bottom of the pan. Pan. Now we've put four noodles in the bottom of the pan. This is going to be our start. Now we're going to add some of the uh, meat sauce. And a thin layer of the meat sauce. Now we're going to add a thin layer of cheese. Now we're going to cut tiny little cubes of whole milk low moisture mozzarella and add that on top of the ricotta mixture. Cut into little quarter inch by eighth inch cubes. And once you got the little cubes of mozzarella on, go for your next layer of noodles. And start the process all over again. And meat sauce, then cheese mixture and little squares of mozzarella on top. Now we go for noodles again. Okay, get your last set of noodles on. And we're going to top this with sauce and mozzarella. Okay, now that you've got it topped with the sauce, we're going to put it in the oven at 375 for about a half an hour. And then we will top with the whole milk mozzarella and cook it for another half an hour. Okay. It baked for about 35 minutes. I pulled it out, put some cheese on it. Now we're going to put it back in for about another half an hour. And it'll be ready to eat. And it's a lasagna. I let it cool for about 15-20 minutes. Then you can cut into it and get ready to eat. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great night.